Hello! I'm so sorry! I tried a new encoder and it wasn't working at all. No matter what I did, my streaming software just was not going to work. So that's not the streaming software for me, at least not until I figure out all of the technical issues. So I may need some of you guys to help me out with that. Whew. Hi y'all! There is nothing worse than sitting down and A, being in a rush to get your live chat ready, or B, going to go turn on your live chat and it not working. That was not great. That was not good fun. So I'm hoping that everybody's going to be able to flip over from the scheduled event. I'm going to have to figure out... Um, I know, I know, I'm waiting for to see if people are going to flip over onto this one, I hope, and for some reason everybody and their mother's just deciding to drive down the road tonight. Oh, have mercy. So we'll just give it a couple minutes and hope that everybody flips over because I have a um, I have a public service announcement to get out. So we're just going, oh, I don't want it. That's going to pop water everywhere. Mercy. Ooh. Hello, everyone. Okay, so before I get into this mess, you're all here. You're all subscribers, obviously. So I'm just going to do a public service announcement. But before that, if this is your first time ever viewing a live chat or if you've clicked on this video and you're watching the replay, welcome. I'm Stephanie from It's Crochet O'Clock and I do these live chats weekly. Right now I am broadcasting on a Tuesday and I will be broadcasting next Tuesday. But after that, my nights will be switching to Monday, still at the same time. But instead of Tuesday nights, it will be Monday nights. So quick public service announcement. All of you guys probably know about my video that I uploaded on Thursday and I have gotten a ton of positive feedback from that video, but I have also gotten a whole lot of flack for that video. And you know, I am I'm pretty good at taking the flack head on. Um, I'm used to it because I am bold and I don't sugarcoat and a lot of people don't enjoy that. What I am not okay with is people coming to me and hunting me down through social media because their comments keep getting deleted by myself or one of my moderators um, because they're just downright nasty and they're hateful and then they chase me down and they start sending me messages through social media being hateful and being nasty. So I'm going to be bold yet again, and um, people aren't going to like it, but in case you weren't aware, the name of my brand is It's Crochet O'Clock. The name of my brand is not Burger King. You do not get it your way. If you cannot speak to me like an adult and in a pleasant manner, then you're not going to get a pleasant response from me. That's just the way that it is. And what really got me is that the number of people that decided to throw my Patreon in my face, well, if that's the way that you're going to treat people, then I'm not going to su subscribe to your Patreon. Or for somebody who says that if they got one third of their subscribers to pledge $1 a month on their Patreon, then they could go full-time YouTube, which is true. It's very true. But again, I have integrity and I have principles, and I am not going to cowtail to anybody who treats somebody disrespectfully, and if you're going to speak to me in a nasty or a hateful way, I'm not going to just sugarcoat, and I'm not going to smile at you, and I'm also not going to change my way of thinking just because you do not agree with me. It's not going to happen. There is... A very widely known saying that says that you can only claim to have principles if you can stick to them when it's inconvenient for you. And I firmly believe in that and I have principles and I'm not going to shy away from them. And I'm also not going to let anybody disrespect me. And you can keep your dollar 
I'm okay with that. You can keep your $20 and not get your It's Crochet O'Clock exclusive bag. I'm okay with that because there are many, many other people that will pledge $1 a month to my Patreon to see the behind the scenes stuff and, and all of that good stuff and I don't really need you. So, now that I've gotten that out of the way, we can move on to the crafting. And I can talk to the people in chat because that's what we're here for. Hi. Yay, Granny Square. <sighs> so let's see. Um, where? Everybody's agreeing with me. I knew that you guys would. Hello, everybody. There's so many people in here. I see so many new faces, new names. All of that good stuff. Hi, Kim. What did I do? I was trying a new encoding software. Hello, Leanne. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate you. There's so many people. I can't go through all of these names. Hi, everybody. Whew, Lord. Y'all, look at this mess from last week. Y'all see this mess from last week? That was from last week. I don't even know where the end is. That was from where I frogged that whole row that... Lord, I done created myself a mess. <sighs> thank you, Ellen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it, it, it's kind of strange because I always get, I always get worried. And I've always been a little bit worried because I'm quite colorful. And I often don't have a filter. That's why I'm always... Um, nervous on my lives because I'm always afraid that you know like a word's gonna come out of my mouth in cursive and people are gonna get offended or I'm gonna have a knee-jerk reaction and I'm gonna say something and I won't have time to filter myself and I can't edit that out because live videos you can't edit out live videos but um you know that needed to be said thank you Marilyn Oh, thank you, Tina. You know that is the best compliment ever. I have goosebumps. Can you see them? I have goosebumps. <laughs> that is just the best compliment ever. I love it when people say that. I don't know why. Is that strange? Oh. Kim said I'd be more worried that someone will make you snort laugh on camera. You know, that's not... Did I snort when I was laughing in one of my Patreon videos to you? I think I did. Did I? Gosh. I'm a snorter. Why is this not working for me? Amazing said, I missed last week. What are you making? Amazing, I'm still working on the same blanket. I just tore apart the first one and I restarted it because I didn't like the way that the color placement was going. My OCD couldn't handle it, so I pulled it apart and I started over. Hello, Beverly. Welcome. Uh, let's see, three. Jeez. I've been working on squares, you know, since I started the new position and my hours have changed. I, I get up at 4.30 in, in the morning. So when I get home, I am just plum exhausted, but I still have to keep working on those squares for filming that crochet along. And I've been... It, there's so many changes in, in the pattern that I'm having. It, this is just a granny square, Stephanie. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, <sighs> Yarn Addict said, that's why I have trouble with yarn cakes, OCD. You know what? You need to get a, um, a cake. Maybe um, I'm going to make Emma a moderator. Emma, if I make you a moderator, can you post a link to that company that, that you ordered your cakes from. Because Emma knows this woman that makes, I'm trying to find your name, Emma, so I can make you a moderator. Because you won't be able to post a link otherwise. But anywho, she found this woman that makes cakes and she will make them um, to your color preference. And they're slow color ch um, changes, so it's not going to suddenly change for you. I can't find Emma. Emma, say something. There you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was 
It's like, geez, where is she? Oh, and now it's being stupid and it won't let me. Make you a moderator, come on. Oh, geez. Nothing is wanting to work for me today. Computers have hated me today. It has been the bane of my existence. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Uh, no, don't hide her. We don't want to hide Emma. Can't hide Emma. There you go. Emma, you're a moderator now. So Emma can post a link for you if, if you want to try them out. From what I am told, they are very, very um, reasonably priced. She shipped out rather quickly. It is overseas, but she shipped out rather quickly. And I mean, the cakes that Emma got were just beautiful. But I don't remember the name of the company. And I'm busy crocheting right now, so I can't look it up for you. Uh, I just said her must be hungry. She was talking about cakes and I thought it was food time. No, we're only what, like 10 minutes in? It's not food time yet. Deborah said I was looking for Emma's. No, no, no. It, Emma is um, Pippin Poppycock. She's the designer behind Pippin Poppycock. Oh, they're really beautiful. She, um, she actually, if you go to Pippin Poppycock's um, YouTube page after this her last live stream that she did she actually gave away one of those cakes in her last live stream so you can take a look at it live oh Tim Tams oh I love me some Tim Tams I was telling one of my co-workers about Tim Tams today she's like what's a Tim Tam so I had to explain it to her and then I told her don't don't buy that stuff at Walmart because it's not the same it's not the same at all. Ooh. Deborah, she's blue now because I just made her a moderator so she could post a link because you can't post links in chat. Okay, Susan, are you American? If you are American and you've ever had Girl Scout cookies, do you know like the texture of a Thin Mint cookie? Take the texture of a Thin Mint cookie, not the, not the flavor of it, but the texture of it, like its structure, and you're going to layer that. But in between those layers, there's like this lovely chocolate ganache, and they're like sandwiched together, layers of chocolate ganache and cookie, and then the cookie is dipped in chocolate. And then they have different flavors, and my favorite is the caramel one. So you get the chocolate ganache and the caramel and the chocolate cookie and the chocolate coating. Oh, so good. Ellen said she found Tim Tams in Canada. Woo! Woo. Oh, Kim Miller. Kim Miller, are you in London? It is so late for you. Thank you so much for staying up late to be here with us. Oh, Sheila, if this is your first time, we talk about everything here. Basically what this is, is, you know, it's a virtual stitching gathering. You know, we sit here, we chit chat, we craft, we talk about everything. We talk about food, oh, you know, natural weather disasters that, that are going on. You know, just, just everything. Cindy said, Stephanie enjoyed one so greatly one time to the point where I thought I was going to need a cigarette. <laughs> All right, so I have to tell you, I can't remember because it's been so long ago since I filmed that video. I, I cannot remember. But I have to tell you that it had been well over a decade since I had had a Tim Tam when I got that, that Tim Tam. Like, that's how long I had been waiting to have a real Tim Tam. Here's one of my hairs. Lord. And so, like, that, that was a very, very special moment. Kathleen said, I've never heard of Tim Tams. Where do we find them in, 
in Cali. Caramel, hello, I'm all about that. You can, all right, so you can go to like Walmarts, carry them here, but they do not taste the same. Sugar is processed different in Australia than it is over here, so they do taste completely different. So if you want a real Tim Tam, then you're just going to have to make friends with an Aussie and PayPal them some money and have them send you some Tim Tams. That's the only way to go about it. Hello, Kim times two. Kim is on the road. She's road tripping. I hope you are not driving, Kim. I hope somebody else is driving. Oh, now she's saying goodbye. She just popped in. She just couldn't. She heard Tim Tam. She had to come in. Oh, y'all. Lord, these people with their trucks. In World Market, do, do they actually import them from Australia, Holly? Do you know? Because it makes a difference. It really, really, really does. Oh, so at some point, I'm sure that Kim will remind me, but at some point, I ran, um, I asked my patrons to ask me some questions that I would answer on live chat. And um, I got a couple questions, so I'm going to answer them later on live chat. Hello, Hummingbird. Welcome. Whew. I hate it when things go wrong at the beginning of a live stream because when things go wrong at the beginning of a live stream, it's just bad juju. And I feel like I can't calm back down from the, oh no, it's bad. see <laughs> Kim said is that a grainy square blanket and is that one color variegated this is going to be a grainy square blanket but what I am doing is I am making a large grainy square for the center and then I have a whole bunch of smaller grainy squares to go around it and then I'm not quite certain where I'm going to go from there but that is the that is the idea. It's two different colors. It is Red Heart Super Saber because it's for a two-year-old. And um, I didn't want to use my good yarn for a two-year-old. Um, the color, the cream color is called Erin. And the multicolor is a variegated and it's called Wildflowers. Whew. Susan Neal said, I got my first cro crochet order today and they want it on Saturday. I hope that's a beanie. Demands. Whew. Hello, Melissa. Welcome. Yes, it is very good yarn for a toddler. It's not too good on my hands because my hands hurt for days after, but it's a good yarn for a toddler. Kathleen says, I have three lint white chocolate truffles frozen every night before bed. That's very specific, Kathleen. <laughs> Hello, Sandy. Oh, Melissa, you finally got your order coming from Dara Morris. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Did you order, you just ordered that one ball of Dara Moore's, um, their in-house DK, right? I think that's what you ordered. I'm curious because I know that you're getting paint box and I know that you're getting style craft. I've never used Dara Moore's in-house yarn, so I am very curious whenever you get it to tell me how it feels compared to the other two. Good night. Thank you so much, Netherlands, for hanging out with us. I didn't realize that you were here. Oh, it is really late. Huh. 
Hummingbird said, do you follow other YouTubers and who? Yes. Yes, I do. But if I tell you guys, you guys probably... <laughs> I, um, I have some makeup gurus that I follow quite frequently. There is, um, oh geez, 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 let me see. Um, stop it. Let me see if I can, oh, it's not going to let me, oh, subscriptions. Let me see. Why is it only going to all? Give me all. I follow Bob Wilson. I follow Fiberific. I follow Pippin Poppycock, of course. Um, I follow The Sim Supply, who is James Turner. So for those of you who are regulars here, you know that when Fiberific went to VidCon in Australia a couple weeks ago, I um, James Turner is another Australian YouTuber, and I've played The Sims, which is a computer game since like the original adaption of it. And he does videos on The Sims, and he's just adorable, and I could eat him up, and I love him. So I follow him. Um, I follow Shane Dawson because I love Shane Dawson. I follow The Rewired Soul, which is, I've spoken about that a couple times here on my channel. It's a mental health and addiction. It's my buddy Chris that runs that channel. Um, I follow Curly Susie because she does the Curly Girl method like I do, and I always like to find out about new products that are working great for her because what works for her seems to work for me, and I dig it. Um, I follow a couple YouTubers that are for like the back end of, of YouTube, learning how YouTube works and its functions and um, just things that, that we have to do behind the scenes in order for our videos to pop up for you guys. Um, I follow a beauty guru named Jen Loves Reviews because she's a lot like me with yarn, only she does that with makeup. Like she breaks down all of the ingredients and all of that good stuff. So, um, I just, I, I like her. I also follow Stephanie Nicole, who is a lot like that as well. She breaks every, the, all the costs down by grams and she talks about the ingredients and where they come from. Um, Marley Bird is one that I follow. Bonnie Bay Crochet, of course. Um, I'm subscribed to Esther because that's what you do. Because everybody subscribes to Esther. Um, you know, Red Heart Yarns. I have a couple personal friends that, that, that I follow. Follow a guy named Emergency Awesome because he does videos on, um, oh my god, I can't believe that it just, Game of Thrones. And I'm obsessed with Game of Thrones, so I watch him a lot. And that is, that's about it. Speaking of shows, a couple weeks ago in my live chat, there was a bunch of you who were offended that I had never watched Sons of Anarchy. And while I did not think that I was going to like it, I did it. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I started watching it because you guys were so offended. And I am addicted. Absolutely addicted to it. I had no idea that the mother from Married with Children was in it, and I had no idea that she could act as well as she does. I mean, like, I, I, I knew that she wasn't her character in Married with Children, but I am addicted to that woman. Like, I love her, and I'm terrified of her at the same time. I, I, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you for the blesses. <sighs> oh, Ida, what did, what did I miss? Kim is saying something. What happened? Um, I thought you'd get her attention with that one. Wait, wait, wait. James covered in Tim Tams. <gasps> oh, that was a... Oh, some dude called James. Let's see. I'm scrolling up to see if I missed something from... Was it just that that mention? Whew. Lord have mercy.
Okay, so everybody else. Hello, Eva. Everybody else didn't want to watch Sons of Anarchy, but they all got stuck on it, yes. I am at the beginning of season three now. I had to do a lot of crocheting this weekend because because I feel like I'm getting behind because I don't have the normal time that I used to have. So I feel like I'm getting behind. So I basically did nothing but crochet <laughs> this weekend and, and go through patterns. Next weekend, I will be doing nothing but filming the entire weekend. And when I just sit here and I crochet, I normally binge watch something. So I binge watched Sons of Anarchy and I am just, I'm in love. I really do like it. What channel or platform is it on? I don't know what channel it comes on on television. I am watching it on Netflix. Gloria said, my grandkids are mad at me because I turn cable off being here on my own. I just watch YouTube 99.9% .9 of the time. I like watching all my friends' crochet channels. I have learned so much. You know, before I came out here, I didn't have cable either. I had my Apple TV, and I just sent everything over to my television. Oh. 105 watching. Jeez. That's got to be a record. Kelly, I'll take Charlie covered in ganache. Lord, Lord have mercy. I'm not going to talk about the part that I am at, and just in case anybody here decides to start watching it, I don't want to to spoil anything for for anybody. But the, the, there was a moment where I was I, I was sitting there crying last night before I actually went to bed. I was sitting there. <laughs> Catherine was poking fun at me because I was crying at the television again. <sighs> See, Kim, and that's another reason why I can't move to Australia. Aside from the Huntsman, y'all's Netflix just aren't, it, it's not like ours, and I don't like that. I have to have my shows. I have never worked with nitpicks, Rachel. I've ne I, I'm sorry, I cannot answer that question because I have not worked with it. I can tell you guys that this weekend I didn't uh, I did not just crochet. I just I, I lied to you because I filmed. I filmed two short videos for my patrons and I filmed two videos for the main YouTube channel. Um, one will be out this Thursday. It is the review on the hint of silk yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby and then on next Thursday, there will be the review for the Chic Sheep. Gosh, I can't say that. Hello, Jam from Alaska. I am so glad that you made it here. Cindy said, I need to kill $240 worth of cable that I never watch anymore. More yarn money. You got that right. Holy cow. Have mercy. That's a whole lot of money in cable. I don't know that I'd be able to do that. Mm -mm. There is one show, though. I've watched Grey's Anatomy since it started, and I can't wait to watch that on the next day. I have a Hulu subscription. I've had Hulu for so long. Y'all want to know what my monthly charge is for Hulu? $3. That's how long I've been a member of Hulu. <laughs> but, you know, I can watch Grey's Anatomy... It comes out on Thursday nights. I can watch it Friday mornings, but I can't wait that long. I have to have it on Thursday nights. So I do like cable for that so I can watch Grey's. Deborah said, what is a patron? Okay, so in the old days, artists had people that would, um, that would donate money to them and provide money for their living. They were known as patrons. So an artist did not have to split their time between their art and their and, and working to provide for their household. So they had patrons. 
Well, Patreon is a website that has been up for quite some time now that basically does the same thing, only we can create different tiers for our patrons. Um, normally there's several, I think I have five. I have a $1 tier, a $3 tier, a $5 tier, a $10 tier, and a $20 tier. And each tier has its own special benefits to it. You have access to different things that other tiers may not, but basically it's just a monthly pledge just to give a little something to me to help keep the channel going because yarn is expensive. <laughs> and um, my goal ultimately is to have, it would be nice to have one third of my YouTube subscribers on my Patreon account donating one dollar a month because that would be all that I would need to be able to go YouTube full-time because it takes a lot of time for me to research the videos that I do like when I do um, informational videos like on where yarn comes from or how it's made those take days of of research even when I do my videos for the crochet alongs those take days of research so that's what Patreon is. There is a link to it in the description box of this if you want to check it out. As I said, they, they have their own benefits. Each tier has its own benefits. You can donate or you can pledge monthly $1, $3, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. And the other bonus is YouTube. You can, whenever, the way YouTubers get paid is by the ad revenue that are on our videos. So whenever you skip over a video, oh, I have something in my eye. When you skip over a video, the YouTuber doesn't get paid anything. But when they do get paid something, YouTube takes anywhere from 35 to 45% of that money. If you donate using the Super Chat button here on YouTube, YouTube takes... 45% of that money and Patreon only takes 5%. So that's another upside to using Patreon is you can donate or you can pledge rather a dollar a month and it would be the equivalent of you watching 300 of my videos. Literally. Oh, no. Hello, Jude Johnson from Michigan. The hubby wants ice cream. I want ice cream. Look at her running off to leave us to go tend to the hubby who wants ice cream and not bringing any back. For shame. For shame. You're welcome, Deborah. Ooh. Carol said, do we get notified when you post on Patreon? Absolutely, you get notified. And if you're like Kim, you download or, let's see, who else is it? I think Kim and Nancy and Geneva downloaded the Patreon app on their phone so they can like immediately respond to me. They can take me everywhere. Hello, Ellen. No, you haven't missed anything. We're just sitting here chatting. You're fine. Come on in. Oh, come now. She can go get him ice cream as long as she brings us ice cream back. Julie said, do you do tutorials? I absolutely do do tutorials. I have a bunch of tutorials already on my channel, and I also do tutorials for people like Emma over at Pip and Poppycock whenever she has a pattern that she feels like she, a video tutorial would be helpful for her. I film her tutorials, and I am working on filming a crochet along that's going to be coming soon. <sighs> Brownie time, y'all. I wish my package from Australia would come. Because I would sure enough not be crocheting right now. I'd be eating Tim Tams right in front of you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ellen. I'm so glad that they are helpful for you. Hi, D. It's okay, we're still here. There's still plenty of time. We still got an hour and 20 minutes. 
Oh. Ooh, a cow teaser. I can't show you the cow. Cannot show you the cow. But I can tell you, I am filming the... Um, I don't have all of the squares for it, but I think I have 21 or 22 squares that I will be filming the tutorials for. It is for the Friends Around the World Crochet Along 3. This is their third time running it, and it is a whole lot of squares designed by a whole bunch of designers from all around the world. Those of you who are in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group, you're familiar with my moderator Maxine. She's one of the designers in it. Um, Helen Shrimpton is designing in it. Um, Vanessa Smith is designing in it. I'm trying to think of... Deidre is doing the border for it where you join all of the squares together. She's doing the join and the border. And well, like I said, I'm not filming all of them because some designers did choose to film their own videos, but I do have 21 or 22 of the squares for that crochet along. So it's been interesting because I always crochet everything that I am going to film first before I actually film it. So I have two blankets going at once. <laughs> Kim Miller said, I don't get any commercials and YouTube videos continue to play even if you go check email, etc. You can still hear the video, just not see it. Well, that's good. Oh, I just got a new $5 patron. Thank you, Trish Bradley. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So kind. Kim said, Stephanie, when is your next cowl? I do not have a release date for it yet. Some of the squares are still in testing, and some of them have already been passed over to me for filming. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I have 12 of them right now. So at least 10 of the ones that I am filming are still in the the last stages of being finalized and I gotta get on the ball on filming. Eva said I love love the yarn I won. I just got it today from my daughter. I'm so happy that you love it. I knew somebody would. You got the green one right? I think you did get the green one. It's lovely yarn. It felt lovely. It's just not my color. Not my color at all. Hello, Patricia. It's okay to be late. That's all right. We're still here. Have I tried Cobol from Lion Brand? No. No, I have not. I um, don't normally go for big box store yarn, um, you know, typical yarns that, that you can find in big boxes here in the United States. I don't normally go, go for them unless my subscribers specifically ask me. If I have, you know, like multiple people asking me to review a yarn, then, then I'll go grab it. But other than that, I don't typically. Your grandson had your yarn. That's shame on him. Do you do exclusive tutorials for your patrons? No, Yarn Addict. I do not do exclusive tutorials for my patrons, but what they do get is some of them get behind the scenes stuff. So they get to see the other side of the camera, which still kind of freaks me out a little bit. Like every time I do it, I still get a little bit freaked out because this is like my happy place. This is like my bubble. And it's kind of strange letting people see all around my bubble. So they get behind the scenes stuff. Um, there is a tier where there is a special monthly giveaway just for patrons, just for people that are in that tier. There is a tier where you can get a 
bag like the one that is behind me with the It's Crochet O'Clock logo on it um, that nobody else will ever be able to get. It will never be in my merch store. And there is also a tier where you'll get um, a travel coffee mug with the It's Crochet O'Clock logo on it that will never be on my merch store either. Let's see, what are my other benefits? You know, I, I post different things on my Patreon that I don't post in the Facebook group or on any other social media. It's a smaller group. There's a tier where there will be a monthly Zoom chat and Zoom is just a simple program that, that you can download on your computer but we can all you can either voice or video chat as a smaller group not as you know one that's got a hundred and something people in it because not only the people that are in that tier or in the tiers above it can participate in it. There's all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of good stuff. I can walk around with my with my Patreon app on my phone and I can snap videos and send them to you guys. Random thoughts. <sighs> sneak peeks, yes, I did do a sneak peek this weekend. I did a behind the scenes and then at the end of, of the behind the scenes I gave a sneak peek of some something that I'm working on. Yeah. Yay, Chantel is here and she's watching the ad. How nice. Rachel said, do you stream on Twitch at all? I do not. I do not stream on Twitch. It is enough for me to keep up with all of my YouTube stuff. I can't add Twitch in there as well. That would not be great. Ooh, did you guys hear that boom? Hold on. I don't do this often, guys, I promise, but hold on. That was a very, very loud boom. Okay, Lord, I thought Catherine hurt herself, and what happened was <laughs> one of the cats knocked something big over, and she was trying to fuss at the cat in a hushed tone so you guys would not hear her fussing, and it sounded like she was moaning, so I thought she had fallen into something, and I thought she had hurt herself. <laughs> so I was like, oh, God. <sighs> Lord, have mercy. Okay, Chantel, you're back. And she's going to try to crochet today after wounding her hand. Oh. Cindy is listening to me and watching QVC. Do they have yarn on there? That's the important thing. Are you buying yarn off QVC? That's what we would like to know. Do you have naturally curly hair or is it a perm? This is my natural hair. 
Hello, pets. Welcome. Cindy, then I just wouldn't bother with it. If it's not yarn, then what good is it? Freaky. Freaky thinks that you should use your feet and give your hand a rest, Aunt Chantel. So I'm going to need you to get on learning how to crochet with your feet. Post haste. QVC is like a channel on television. I don't know if it's just in America or not, but all they do is just sell things all day long. They just sell things all day long. Kim, I can believe it. I believe it all day long. I'm so cranky about it. It's probably on a ship somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean, completely away from where it's supposed to be. Yes, like TVSN. Oh, that, I know that young kid is not out there hollering back at his mama what. Y'all know I'm from the South. I can't handle a child when you call its name and that child responds with what? Uh-uh. Kim said that they told her it would take about five to seven business days. I don't think so. The last time Chantel sent me something, she, um... I think it took about two weeks for, for it to get to me. It's about how long it took. By the way, Chantel, I was at the grocery store the other day and I was thinking about you. And I was hunting and hunting and hunting because I was thinking about you and Abby. And I was going to send you guys little mini boxes of cereal because I know that you love American cereal so much. But I couldn't find them. So I think I'm going to have to order some off Amazon to send to you. Eva is so proud of herself. She finished her last beanie for Christmas gifts for the kids. Woo! Good job. It's okay, Chantel. You take all the time that you need. You nearly cut off your hand. You just take all the time that you need. Apparently there is a chocolate version of Captain Crunch. Now, say what? Ew. Chocolate Captain Crunch? That doesn't even sound good. That's not okay. Not okay at all. Kim said, promise me you will video opening my parcel. Okay, see, that scares me. That scares me. Because you're a trickster. And now I'm afraid of what's in there. Do I have reason to be afraid? Did you put a plastic huntsman in the bag? That's what I'm saying. That's what I would like to know. Tim Tams. You know, it's so funny because I get messages from all kinds of people just like random Facebook messages. Like all the Australians torture me because I'll be sitting there in bed getting ready to go to sleep or halfway asleep and then all of a sudden the light on my phone will go off because I've gotten a message and then I can't not look at it. And then I look and what is it? It's a picture of Tim Tams because somebody's at the grocery store in Australia and they're sending me a picture of Tim Tams just to say hi. Wow, is Leanne behind or something? Honey, I've been back for quite some time. Okay, so Kim says that there's no tricks. She just wants to see the reaction. Okay. Okay. Hello, Julie. Thank you. It's going to be a big granny square once I get done. I have two... Two and a half more rows to go, and then this... Stop it, hair! Oh, gosh. Two and a half more rows, and then it will be done. This square. 
<sighs> Hello, other Leanne. We got two Leannes here. Kim. Who's going to throw cold water at Leanne to help her refresh? Bless her little heart. Bless her little heart. Y'all, I am so excited for Fiberific's live stream tomorrow. We're probably not going to be dyeing yarn again because her hand is still messed up. But we didn't get her last week because when she hurt her hand, she had to go to the doctor's office several times and then she got sick. So we didn't have a Fiberific live stream last week because she had no voice. Angie says, according to Google, you can get Aussie Tim Tams at Target. Hmm. You know what? The next time I get a package of Tim Tams, I will take a picture of the ingredients for you guys. And I will post it in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group. So that way you can save the post. And whenever you go to a store, you can compare the ingredients. And if it doesn't look exactly the same, don't do it because it's not the same. Goodbye, Ellen. Thank you for stopping by. Robin said, I just saw my first vlog you did. Just wanted to say I like your passion and you seem so true and down to earth. Thank you for your honesty. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Oh, oh Chantel said, not as excited as me. I'm going to be loopy. Aw, oh, you still don't sound very good, you poor thing. You poor dear. We will see. Hello, Latasha, who just remembered it was Tuesday night. You guys don't forget that my schedule is changing. Come October 1st, my schedule is changing, and I will be flipping to night shift. So my days off are going to change, and I will be switching to Monday evenings for live streams as of October 1st. So next week, we will have a Tuesday live stream, and then the following week after that, it will switch to Mondays at the same time. If you're on the other side of the world, in Australia and New Zealand, it will be Tuesday morning instead of Wednesday morning for you. Hello there. To Keisha, I'm making a blanket for my two-year-old grandbaby. This part right here is a big granny square that will be in the center, and then I have smaller granny squares that I'm going to put around it, and from there I have no idea, but we will figure it out. Pet said I saw the one about crochet content theft. It cracked me up, that's why I subscribed. Well, you know what? That's a good thing. And you were with 900 other people. I pulled up my totals before this. And since the 13th, now I, I don't have the past two days um, analytics because YouTube is two days behind with their statistics. But the 13th up until two days ago, 32 people unsubscribed from me. And as of currently, I have gained over 900. So I call that a win. I call that a win. Oh yeah, Kim's not gonna be able to be here on our first Monday chat. So Leanne, I'm gonna need you to get on that. Gonna need you to remember to be here to moderate. <sighs> yes, Ida, we've had a lot of people. By the way, Ida, while I am thinking about it, whenever you do a translation on one of my videos, will you shoot me a message and let me know? Because for some reason, YouTube has stopped notifying me that you have done a translation. So they sit there for like three or four days <laughs> until I go, hey, I wonder if Ida's done a translation. And I click on the button and I'm like, yep, she's been busy. 
So if you happen to do one, please just send me a message so I could just immediately go in and, and approve it and publish it. Kim said, and let's face it, anyone that would unsubscribe based on that video isn't someone you're going to miss. Nope. Ask yourself why. <laughs> Lord, that was Kim's favorite part, the ask yourself why. Thank you so much, Ida. Whew, there was other things that I wanted to talk about. So Havana is coming up very, very, very quickly. If you're not part of the Pip and Poppycock Facebook group and you want to take part in the Havana, or I think, is Emma still here? I think Emma posted, I haven't, I haven't had time to look at my comments. I haven't looked at my comments since yesterday. I haven't, I've hardly looked at anything since yesterday. But I think she posted a, a, um, a walkthrough for a tester for the Havana because lots of people are worried about it. And you shouldn't be worried about it because the Havana, it looks complicated, but it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. It is super simple, easy. <sighs> see like Latasha said ever since I watch the video every day I always tell myself ask yourself why it's gotten stuck in my head that's funny <laughs> check out John Bar Barrowman Tim Tam Tower on Bing oh I will have to look at that Carol said, how many rows of Aaron between the variegated? Um, at the center of the square, let me see. At the center of the square, I had variegated, then two rows of Aran, Aaron, then a variegated, then three rows of Aaron, and then a variegated, then three rows, variegated, three rows, variegated, and this one, with the final part of it, will be four rows of Aaron. Amy said, if you did the Arizona, you can do the Havana. That is very true, because one of the portions of the Arizona is mosaic crochet. Julie said, you have a merch store? I sure enough do. You can go to itscrochetclock.com and then click on the merch button and it'll take you right there. Karina said, I would love to participate, but I don't think I'm ready. Karina, if you can do a single crochet, and if you can do a double crochet, you can do it, because that's all it is. Not joking, that is all it is. Christine said, do you like that hook? I'm thinking on trying it. I'm using the ergonomical ones. Okay, so, my preferred hook used to be a boy with the ergonomic handles on them because I liked feeling the hook in my hand and knowing that it was there. But when I went to film the Arizona crochet along, I needed a 4.5 millimeter hook and American hooks don't come in 4.5 millimeters. So I had this I had a 4.5 Clover Soft Touch. It was the one that, that I had ordered from the line to see if I liked it. And when I first got it, I hated it because it was so light. I couldn't feel it in my hand. I was trying to move it around and it was just flying everywhere and I just didn't like it. But I was forced into using it because I needed a 4.5 millimeter hook because that's what the pattern called for and that's what I needed to film in. So... As I started to work with it, I fell in love with it because with the older hooks that I was using, the boy with the plastic ergonomic handles, I could only crochet for like three or four hours before my wrist would start to hurt. This wrist would start to hurt. With this hook, there was a time where I made a mistake when I was filming and I didn't catch it until editing. And when I was editing that video, I was already two or three parts past where I had filmed. So I couldn't frog all of that back. 
So I had to go and I had to work up one whole side, and I think it was part six that I made the error in. So I had to I had to crochet parts one through five of the Arizona in one weekend and then refilm part six in one day and edit it and and get it up before you know the, the date because I had I had messed up and I wasn't going to um, upload that video. I crocheted from the time I woke up until the time my eyes would not stay open anymore and my wrist never hurt. Nothing ever hurt. I mean like hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. So now the Clover Soft Touch are my preferred hooks. There are a lot of other people that like the Clover Amours. There are people that like tulips better. I think it's just all depending on how you feel about them in your hands. Daigo's going to go get a charger for her cell. Bless her thing. Whew. I really like them. But hooks are very, they're a very personal thing. I didn't like the, the shape of them when I first got them. That was another problem that I had was I didn't like the shape of them. But now, like I, regular crochet hooks, when I try to hold them, they feel wonky in my hands because I've gotten used to them. I think that you should order one, you know, order one, try it out. If you like it, then get a set. That's what I do. You was able to buy a Bates 4.5? Stop it. I need a Bates 4.5. Soft touch is the only one I use unless I need a larger size. They're the ones that, that there are some yarns that, um, there are some yarns that, that just don't work with the hooks and my personal crocheting style. So, you know, I'll, my first instinct then is to go to a tulip hook. And then if it's still not working, then I'll go to a Susan Bates hook and try an inline. Poopy Golds. That's what these are called. The Aussies call these the Poopy Gold crochet hooks. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to change up your hook depending on the yarn that you're using. I've said it I don't know how many times. There are lots of people who say that yarn splits. That yarn's too splitty for me. You know what? You probably just need to change your hook. If you're using a tapered hook, pick up an inline hook and it will probably fix your, your issue. True story. I have Susan Bates with the bamboo handles on them and I like them a little bit more because I can't work with, unless I'm doing a bullion stitch, I cannot work with just regular old metal crochet hooks. They're too thin for me and I just can't do it. Why is my hair all over everywhere? I am just shedding like nobody's business. We could probably make a whole cake of yarn from how much hair I'm shedding. Have mercy. <laughs> yeah, lots of people love the lighted hooks. I'm night blind, so the lighted hooks actually blind me, and I can't use them, unfortunately. I wish that I could, but I, I ordered a set because I was like, yeah, I'm going to sit there, I'm going to watch movies, and I'm just going to granny stitch because I really don't need to look at it when I'm granny stitching. No, I do look down a lot, and it blinds me whenever I look at those lights. I got some spongy covers for whenever whenever I do a bullion stitch, I put on one of those spongy covers onto just a regular aluminum crochet hook and then I take a darning needle and I wedge it between the sponge and the crochet hook and that's how I do my bullion stitches whenever I have to do them because they're not a favorite either. I love the effect of them but boy are they aggravating to get done.
Dum, dum, dum. I don't know if I'm going to get these four rows done tonight, y'all. I may not. I got to figure out what the problem was with my encoder before next week. Because I didn't like it. But I wanted to make it to where it was scheduled on the channel because you know we have a day change coming up and I know that people are going to have to get used to no matter how many times I say that I am switching from Tuesday night to Monday night there are still going to be people bless their hearts who are going to miss it and they're going to be upset when I am not going to be there on Tuesday hi gamer widows Um, it's just, Sally, it, it's the back end stuff with setting up an event on the YouTube page proper. It was giving me an error saying that my encoder was not encrypted properly when it was. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And then the event time popped up and it wouldn't let me make changes. And it was just, it was crazy. It was a situation. Oh, Cindy said, I've been sitting here with crochet in my lap for an hour. I haven't done one stitch. I am like that on Chantel's channel. I always sit down with my crochet in my lap and I plan on crocheting and then I get too invested in the conversation that's going on and I don't want to miss anything or I'm just too busy running my mouth and I don't get any crochet done. <laughs> Tell said, oh, it sounds too technical for me. Honey, I am technical, and it was a little bit too technical for me. So I'm going to end up having to call Chantel this weekend and go, hi, can we walk through this together? <laughs> Kathleen said, the Havana, where do I get the information, Steph? Pippinpoppycock.com. The Facebook group Pippin Poppycock's um, Crochet Club is the Facebook group that is hosting it. So if you run any, in, into any trouble or have any questions, it will all be there. But it will be released each week on pippinpoppycock.com. And there's information about it now, how much yarn you would need to have for the project. The original Havana blanket that is in all of the advertisements that are going around in all of the trailers, the video trailers, that blanket was done in scraps. And it's just beautiful. So it, it's a very good opportunity to use up a lot of scrap yarn in your stash if you have them. I'm so excited about the scrap versions of Havana. I can't tell you guys because they're going to be fabulous. Thank you, Kim. Whew. <laughs> you poor guys. It's like, same here. I haven't done any crafting. It's okay. It's okay. You just take a break. It's okay. Freaky does a little bit of everything, Ida. Freaky dabbles into all kinds of things. You know, one of my coworkers is starting to crochet. And I guess it's been, it's been so long since I've taught somebody face to face how to crochet or it's been so long since I've been able to see somebody's face that has taken part in my tutorials or, or learned anything from me. Like I still talk to all of you guys and you guys are like, hey, I learned so much from that video. Thank you. All of that. But having somebody there in, in front of you who learned from, from your tutorials is is just a little bit it, it's been a long time and it was so nice to see her um yesterday when she came into the office and she was just so excited to to show me 
what she had done. And I was so proud of her because she did a really good job for no, for somebody who had never crocheted before. I was so shocked at how well she had done with just her little double crochet stitches that she had done. But she was, um, she was concerned because some of her stitches were different sizes. And she said, why did this happen? And I said, honey, it, it's okay. It's just that she had gotten up and she probably went to like go get a drink or something and had come back and started to crochet again. And you know how your tension's always a little bit off? That That's what had happened to her. But it was so nice to see somebody that, you know, in, in person that was super excited to learn about crochet and she was so proud of, of what she had done. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen that smile. Ooh, I just got cotton fields all around her. Hello, Antoinette from Canada. Dum dum dum. Thank you for the link, Kim. Thank you very much. Ooh. Marilyn said, are you doing a video tutorial on the Havana? No, I am not doing video tutorials on the Havana. Um, Tenna, who is the designer of the, of the Havana, she is supposed to be releasing some, some like tricks, tips and tricks um, videos for it. But it is honestly so simple, so, so simple that it does not need a video. I promise you, it does not need a video. That's how simple it is. Gamer said, I spent the best part of, of a four hour flight teaching a teenager to crochet. She got excited when she remembered how to complete a stitch without asking to be checked. Aww. Maybe I should do a video on stretches for crocheters. Oh, the hand stretches. Bend back. <laughs> Stretching. And I'll talk in a very, very soft, soft voice. <laughs> oh, it'll be so unlike me. I'll have some, some meditation music playing in the background. I'll get copyright infringement and YouTube will demonetize one of my videos. <laughs> Who's in Brisbane? No, do it with your regular... So what you're going to do here is you're going to grab this thumb, okay? You're going to wiggle it just a little bit. You see that? You see see this right here? That's too much. You don't want to do that. You want to wiggle it just a little bit. Gently now. Okay, now move it in a circle. We're just getting it ready. We're getting it ready. We're getting it primed. We're just going to move it around in a circle here. All right, now all together we're going to pull back on this thumb, okay? And you're going to put some tension behind it. You're going to put some fire behind it. You're going to do it like you mean it, okay? Are we ready? All right, here we go. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. All right, pull! <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, y'all. All right, I'll see what I can do for you guys, okay? See what I can do for you guys. It's going to be a cross between Richard Simmons, Joe Dirt, 
and Olivia Newton-John in the physical years. That's what I'm envisioning in my head anyways. Oh, sweet Jesus in there. <laughs> I do need more of a Richard Simmons vibe in there. Yeah, like I need it. I'm going to wear a headband and everything. I'm going to crochet little baby headbands for my fingers. Since we're going to be working on the fingers, I'm going to have little tiny crochet rings around my fingers and they'll be headbands. That's how it's going to go down. See, Kim just said, are you going to wear leg warmers and a sweatband? <laughs> and draw faces on my nails. Oh, jeez. Lord. If y'all only knew, look, I wasn't going to talk about this, but this is, this is relevant to right here. So I woke up Sunday morning and I had a couple messages from people that um, people had posted my video about content theft in some Facebook groups and that some people were speaking negatively about me and they um, they weren't nice and I looked and I noticed that three of the people that were speaking negatively of me were actually in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group so you know I had to take care of that post haste because I'm an adult and I'm not in high school anymore I kinda got over that a little you know over 20 years ago and I don't play around like that. But the biggest thing that people were saying is that they could not stand watching me because I was just too dramatic. And I'm thinking to myself, if you think that that was dramatic, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because believe it or not, I was still watering myself down a little bit more because I wanted to yell and I wanted to scream. So maybe you're right. Maybe I do need to just paint faces on my fingernails and have little sweatbands going on. Yeah. Whew. That would be interesting. They would really enjoy that. Days of our lives. <laughs> they don't have any. But that's okay. That's quite okay. Okay, Kelly. I will talk to you soon. Dun -dun -dun. Maybe they were convicted. You know, that's just... It is what it is. Ain't no skin off my back. If people are going to do that, then they're not my people. They're not the kind of people that I want around me. Exactly. Ask yourself why. <laughs> Ask yourself why. I actually got an email. Maybe I should read it to you guys. Let me see. Where's my... Come on. Email. I'm going to have to find it. Because she actually gave me permission to read her email on the podcast and I thought that it was that it was rather nice because I love it when people try to prove me wrong or I love it when people come at me with an attitude because I don't speak until I have really thoroughly researched a subject I just don't it's not in my DNA because I'm not gonna take a chance on having to say that I'm sorry I've had to do it once or twice in my life but that's about it I'm not gonna do it Oh, where did it go? So I got an email from a woman named Kathleen Smith. And she said, I happened across your content theft podcast as it popped up on my recommended feed on YouTube. I'm not even a crocheter. I'm a knitter, and up until this very moment, I have had zero interest in crochet. But I've been in the patent and trademark business for the last 25 years, and I hung on to every word of that po podcast. I can personally verify from the professional standpoint that you were 100% correct on everything that you said. Congratulations to you. You are definitely my type of people. Right on, girlfriend. Your message needed to be said. 
I once confronted a content thief in Barnes and Noble who had a knitting book on the floor and was photographing the pattern pages. I read her the riot act and as she was so embarrassed, she fled the store. Then I told the manager, I take this kind of theft very, very seriously. I make it my business never ever to buy a pattern except directly from the designer. I've subscribed to your channel now and I need to take a crochet lesson. You are awesome. I will start watching some of your previous podcasts to learn more about you, where you're from, etc. If you come to Stitches West in February, I will buy you dinner. I would be honored to call you my friend. So I thought that that was very nice. Not that I didn't know that I was right to begin with, because I knew that I was right in what I was saying. But it was still nice to have somebody that works in the content theft industry, specifically in the content theft industry, you know, kind of verify what I was saying. That was nice. Oh, hey, Shelly. Welcome. You're here for the last round of it. <sighs> it is. It's very nice. Even though I didn't, like I said, I've only been wrong once or twice in my life. <laughs> It's happened. It's happened. That's true. I did do my research. There was somebody that, that posted on on the thing, um, you know, trying to basically say that I didn't know what I was talking about. And that, in all capital letters, is research. It is... Some people are just so lucky that they have the internet between themselves and me because... I'm the person that will whip right out my phone because I have notes everywhere with links to all kinds of government documents. And I'm like, excuse me, your what hurts? How about you just look at this right here? Right there? Who's right? Who's right? You want to say that again? Yeah? Me? Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Eat it. reach through the screen and lay hands on folks. People just trying to take my Jesus. Daily people trying to take my Jesus. Oh, we have two Shelleys here. Shelly Pritchard and Shelly Kay. Welcome, Shelly Kay. Whew. So much better than hugging her around the neck. <laughs> I joke I really wouldn't lay hands on people I would want to but I wouldn't lay hands on people maybe I should have Catherine for my fingers for the workout video maybe I should have Catherine like illustrate like serious faces on my fingers I was going to cut my fingernails because that's another comment that I get all the time is I couldn't pay attention to her tutorial because I was too distracted by her fingernails. So I was actually just thinking, you know, tomorrow night when, she, when I'm watching Chantel, I'm going to cut my fingernails and I'm going to file them down. But if I'm going to film a video, then I just need to keep my fingernails long. <laughs> oh, good night, Beverly. You want tortured faces because it's like exercise. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be great. Paint them red. Yeah, people are so, like, the internet just gives people, you know, they, they just say things that... They probably wouldn't say to your face if they were in front of you. Like the veil of the internet just gives people like so much. They just think that they have a right to. That's why I had to do my public service announcement because I don't care if you're on the internet or not. And this is not Burger King. And I don't care if you're going to threaten me with not subscribing to my Patreon. Don't subscribe to my Patreon. It's no skin off my back, because I'm not going to let you talk to me like that. P. 
people can get really nasty and then all of a sudden it's a bad thing when you pop it back at them because I'm not going to let you talk to me any type of way. It's not going to happen. That, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with Chantel's. She spent, her hands are in dye all the time. Of course she's going to have dye and stuff all over her hands. She dyes yarn for a living. Duh. It cracks me up. Couldn't look at your nails. Girl, stop being jealous. Stop being jealous. <laughs> Shelly, you're going to have to get used to Freaky Geek. Freaky Geek has a sarcastic comment for everything. We have to be careful. Us, those of us who, who do lives, we have to be super careful about reading Freaky's comments. Hello, Amanda. Welcome to the chat. Y'all realize that if I put out that video, the only people who are going to find it amusing is going to be you guys. Everybody else is going to be like, because what, there's maybe, what'd you say, we have like 104 watching or, or something like that? I have over 7,000 subscribers. <laughs> and just from my analytics, like 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So people are going to come on my channel and they're going to see faces painted on my fingernails. My fingers are going to have little head warmers and I'm going to be doing crochet exercises. <laughs> and they're going to go, this woman is good. And then they're going to like click to the next video and it's going to be the content theft video where I'm dancing around going, la, 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 la. they're going to be like, yep, she's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to work that out. I'm gonna have to work that out for you guys. That'll be great. It still sounds hilarious to me too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it without laughing. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm gonna have to set up a behind the scenes so you guys can watch. I will do so, Chantel. Andrea thinks that everyone should embrace their crazy. I do. I let my crazy out of its box every now and then. Every now and then. Her noodle was cooked. <laughs> It'll be fun. And I will try to do my research on actual crochet exercises. I will just, you know, stuff them up. <laughs> Lift the crochet hook. I don't even know if I could do that. What size hook is this? This is a five millimeter. Let me see. Can I do that? Down. And, oh, Lord, it's really hard to balance this sucker and, and move it at the same time. Okay, let's see. Can I get it to the other finger without dropping it? Nope. See, then I'm going to have to practice. <laughs> Blooper bits are, are the best. I've thought about that a couple times. Like when I have to stop whenever a car goes by and I'm filming, like a loud truck goes by, and I know that you would be able to hear it on the video. And I have to stop. Ooh, the faces that I make. There are crochet yoga videos here on YouTube. I'm going to have to look and I'm going to have to do a parody. Stuff them up. Yes. Hello, Chill82 from Australia. Thank you, thank you. We're happy you're here.
Whew. What time is it? Ooh, we got a little over 20 minutes left. Where am I at in this? Oh, I'm so bummed that I didn't get those four rows in. What shall we call the video? That's the real question. What shall we call this? Because while it'll be funny, it still does need to be educational and useful. I'm going to have to put a disclaimer at the, at the front of it that says, you know, these are actual exercises. <laughs> Leanne is talking to me out loud. That's funny. Aw, I'm happy that you found us too, Leslie. Welcome to the group. Finger yoga. I'm gonna have to come up with a hand stretches, it's crochet o'clock style. <laughs> Lord. Nobody's ever gonna take me y'all realize that if I do this, nobody's ever gonna take me seriously in this niche again. I'm gonna walk into the Crochet Guild of America conference next year and people's gonna be like She's for real? <laughs> I thought she was just that lady that told jokes on, on the YouTube. Good night, Vilma. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hello, Rowan's Impressions. But they will remember you. Yeah, they'll remember me as that crazy lady. Oh, Lord. You know, I don't even... Freaky, that's not funny. That's not funny. Freaky said, oh, clock, you never know. That video just might be the one of yours that goes viral. Do you know how terrifying that is? <laughs> Lord, sweet Jesus. Yes, there is, Leslie. The Crochet Guild of America has a convention every July and they have the United States broken up into four different sections and it rotates every year between those sections and next year it is in Manchester, New Hampshire is where it is. I believe it is the second week of July. Oh. Happy hooker hands. Oh, geez. Hello, Sheila, who just found me tonight via my copyright video. So glad you are here. Janelle said, up near her. Yeah, it's not near me. I'm going to have to fly in because I'm not driving that one. I'm really hoping that the next time it's in the south that it's in Jacksonville so I can do a twofer. I can go see my family and I can go to the, well, not next year, but the following year after that. I can go see my family and go to the convention. What time zone are you in so I do not miss you? I am in mountain time zone currently and I go live um, at 6 p.m. my time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time. But um, I've always done them on Tuesday evenings. Next week I will do them on Tuesday evenings, but after that it will be switched to Monday evenings, our time. Bobby Taylor found me two weeks ago. Hi, Bobby. What is the Arizona? The Arizona is a crochet along blanket that Emma from Pip and Poppycock designed. You can go to pipandpoppycock.com and you can see it. I filmed the video tutorials for it. 
What is the Crochet Guild Convention for? Well, they have all kinds of classes. Um, lots of designers who also teach. They give classes there, lots and lots and lots of good classes. There is um, contests that people submit their crocheted items to, either for design or other categories within them. There are There's a big dinner and a banquet evening. There is also a big merchant section where you can go and all kinds of vendors go and they set up with all kinds of yarny supplies, you know, big brands. You get swag bags filled with stuff normally from like Red Heart or, or something like that because Red Heart is one of the big sponsors for the Crochet Guild of America. So, you know, just things like that. Be with your people. Thank you, Patricia. I have actually never gone, so next year is going to be my very first year going. I never had an interest in going before, um, but Sandy, one of the members in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group, she is a Tunisian crochet designer. She went to the convention this past year, and when she came back, she had so many good things to say about it, because I was worried, because, you know, I'm... I'm only 39 and I was worried that I was going to go there and I was going to be so out of, I'm already, I, I don't know any of the big names personally in our niche. Um, I don't fit in with a lot of people in our niche because of, you know, just the way that I talk and, and the way that I act. So I already knew that I was going to have that, you know, a, against me and my age against me and Sandy kind of she she took all of those concerns away for me and she is going to be there next year and my cousin Amy is also going to accompany me next year and I believe that Emma is going to try and go next year so if I can have at least some of my people around me then I will be you know more comfortable with with going. How long and wide is the Arizona? It depends on what size yarn you use. Um, I It was designed as it's written. If you make it in DK weight as it is written, it was designed to fit a twin size bed. But the sections of it, it's done in seven different sections, and the sections of it are easy to repeat to make it bigger. Oh, freaky. Leslie, where are you? Daigo said, I finished the Wonder Woman inspired minion. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm so sorry that you forgot to write down your pattern. I think we need to pass the hat around to get you down here. You'll fit in fairly. You know, I would love, I am so, so jealous because Sandy, that, that same designer that I was talking about, she got picked up for the crochet cruise, one of the crochet cruises that's leaving out of, I think hers is leaving out of Sydney, but the following year, that cruise ship that they use for the crochet cruises, it's going to change home ports from Sydney to Brisbane. And Sandy and Vanessa Smith are both going to be teaching on the cruise together. And I am just... I am so, so, so happy for them because I'm friends with both of them. I love them both dearly. I'm so, so happy for them, but I am so green with envy. Oh, I'm so envious. Not that, you know, I they can both design and they can teach their, their own designs and I don't design, so I don't have anything of, of any interest. But it costs, like, I've looked to fly over that way. It's like $2,500 to fly over that way, just to fly. Jesus, and there is no way 
that I would be able to get myself out of this country and go to Australia without taking Catherine with me. So that's like five grand right there. Just to get us on the stinking plane. She would kill me if I went to Australia and I didn't take her with me. <sighs> I'd need a spare suitcase just to bring Tim Tams home. I would need two spare suitcases. One for Bendigo yarn because I've never tried it and everybody keeps raving about it to me. And one for Tim Tams. I'd be wearing the same outfit every day that I was there, the same pair of shoes and everything, just so I could take Tim Tams and yarn back with me. <laughs> I'm not sure, Kim, if that would be something that would really draw people in to want to participate in the cruise because they're not, you know, the, the going on crochet cruises, they're, they're not something that is just a cheap thing to do. So I think that they have to have, you know, names to draw them. And Vanessa and Sandy are, are both names. <sighs> just take old clothes and leave them behind. That is a very good idea. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'll be looking a hot mess while I'm there with you guys, but daggum it, I'll be able to attend Caffeinator Crafters. That's all that matters. I won't be taking my hair gel or none of the other 15 products that I, that, that I put in my hair because it's taking up too much room in the suitcase. Oh, Kirby, you bite your tongue. That's not even funny. That's not even funny. The good thing is, though, is that you get nice swag bags when you go on the crochet cruises. So you would get some yarn, and you would probably get at least a hook to be able to work on. Gamer said, I left my shoes in New Zealand so I could make space in my suitcases. I have no regrets. <laughs> Put your essentials in your carry-on. Uh, do you know what always goes in my carry-on? My laptop and my crochet. That's what's always in my carry-on. And there ain't room for anything else. And believe me, there's going to be lots of yarn in there. If I'm flying to Australia, I remember that flight. Lord have mercy. That's a long flight. I'm going to be taking some yarn. Kim said you could always go as a guest and then you get to enjoy yourself instead of working. Yes, but if somehow I learned how to design and I get good enough, then I could go as a teacher. And then I would only have to pay for Catherine to get on the ship and to fly there. Because I'm frugal, man. It would be nice, though. Good night, Chris. Lord, start around four, guys. So you know what that means. Next week, we will finish round four, and we will start to attach squares. Oh, yeah. You can have my design. Girl, stop. You didn't even write a pattern for it. Don't you tease me? Kim shows me this beautiful shirt that she crocheted. She's like, you can film my video for this. She didn't even wrote a pattern for it. It's beautiful. I'll think of it. You write it up. <laughs> Create all the sizing and do all the tech support. Yeah, sure. Okay. Kirby, I'm going to need you to stop jinxing people. Camera said I didn't really like them shoes anyways. Lord. You know, back in the day, like the last time I went to Australia, I think I went with two bags because I was going to be there for, for two months. And so I went with two bags. 
and I came back, I mailed a whole bunch of stuff to me, and it did not cost that much to mail stuff back as it does now. I was in my early 20s then. And I came back with like two extra suitcases full of stuff, and I didn't have to pay extra. And now you have to pay for every single suitcase that you take on board. Oh, it's so horrible. Emily said, sweet baby Jesus, you're telling me I went to Australia once 15 years ago and I'm still recovering from the flights there and back. Girl, I was an international trainer for a restaurant food chain and I have traveled all over the world. I've been to every continent on the planet except for Antarctica and there was a couple years of my life where I just slept when I got tired. <laughs> And I woke up when I wasn't tired anymore because I never knew, you know, like where I was at. My body didn't have any type of clock or, or anything like that because I was just flying around everywhere and I was gone all the time. Oh, Kirby, that's when you know it's been a good chat. There have been some nights... <laughs> when I've been on Chantel's chat that I have hurt the next day. My sides have hurt the next day from laughing with everybody so much. That's when you know that you're with your people. When it hurts your side, that's a good sign. That's good stuff. Approximately how long and how wide is the Arizona? Whew. Let me try and find that information for you because I do not remember. I only made two of them, but I do not remember. Um, she changed her website. She revamped her website, so now I don't remember. Pattern details. Come on. Um, finish size is 64 inches by 54 inches. So it's approximately 5 feet by 4 feet. There you go. Good night, amazing. Thank you, Karen. I have to look that stuff up. It's been so long since I've done it, and I don't remember all of the details for it. Ooh. Excuse me. I've been up since 4.30, y'all, and I got to get up at 3.30 in the morning. That's not going to be fun. Later to all those that are leaving. It's about time for everybody to start bailing out. It's late on the East Coast. It's almost 10 p.m. on the East Coast. So they're getting tired. We only have six more minutes. Why so early? Because I have three jobs, Leslie. I have YouTube, which really doesn't feel like a job, but technically it is. I have that job thing that pays my bills. And then I have another job that is super secret squirrel that I can't share with everybody just yet. But one of these days I will be able to. And that is why I have to get up at three o'clock in the morning because I have a conference and the person that I have a conference with is eight hours ahead of me. And with my work schedule, that is the only time that I can conference with them. So, I have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It is way too early to get up. But you do what you have to do. Because paycheck. <laughs> Aw, thank you for the compliment, Manny. I would not be able to get up that early. It's not going to be fun. I have to get up earlier than that whenever I fly home because 
I always want to get home as early as possible because I don't want to waste any of my time there. But I always forget that the airport that I fly out of is an hour ahead of me. So I make my reservations and then I'm like, oh no, that's a two hour drive for me. I have to be there 45 minutes because it's a smaller airport. I have to be there 45 minutes before the flight takes off. I gotta leave three hours before this, which puts me getting up at like two o'clock in the morning to drive to the airport. <laughs> Adulting is so exhausting. Yes, yes it is, but you know what? As soon as, you know, one third of my YouTube subscribers become patrons, <laughs> one dollar a month patrons that's all it would take and then I then I would free up a whole 40 hours of my week and be able to devote it just to videos and researching and doing more stuff the time zones in the states are crazy I can never keep track we only got the four I mean if you're taking Alaska and Hawaii out we only got the four I normally go crawl in bed at 8 o'clock my time, which is coming up here in just a couple minutes. And then I take z -Quil because I have an issue to where I don't sleep very well at night. I sleep better during the day. And I sleep fine once I get asleep. It's just being able to fall asleep. So I have to take z at 8 o'clock. And by like 9.30, 10-ish, I'm knocked out. And then I get up at 4.30 for work. I agree, Holly. It, it's not okay. It's not okay. I don't even think the devil is up at 3.30 in the morning, y'all. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think it happens. Same with me, Sally. I will just lay there and lay there and lay there. Even if I turn everything off, I will just lay there. Crocheting sometimes helps. Um, it doesn't all the time, but crocheting does sometimes help. But then my problem is, is I just want to finish this row. And then, oh, I just want to see what it'll look like with this next row. So I'm just going to do this next row and then I don't fall asleep. Freaky said Eastern or Mountain and Pacific, I think, are most used. Freaky, let me tell you something. Okay, the television in America runs on the East Coast and I hate it. Do you know how much I hate, 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 hate that Game of Thrones comes on? at seven o'clock in the evening for me. I hate it because the kid is still awake and I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait one minute past when the show starts. They hate it in this house when Game of Thrones is in season because I walk around like five minutes before seven and I'm going, everybody shut up. Do you have your drink? Do you have what you need? Get to your places. I don't want to see you for the next hour. Don't talk to me. Don't call me. Don't ask me for nothing. If you're not bleeding and you can't show me a bone, we're not going to talk about it. It can wait until after my show. <sighs> Just go crazy. <sighs> How do you pay for Patreon? You can either use a credit card or you can use um, a PayPal account and sign up with Patreon. Oh, see, California would be even worse. Game of Thrones would start at 6, 8, 6 p.m. for you. That's horrible. That's dinner time. I hate that television runs on East Coast time. Mm. 
9 a.m. last Saturday. Girl, oh, I miss me some Florida football, y'all. I don't get those games. I do not get those games. I miss it. Ooh, good night to those who are leaving. Oh, y'all, it's past time. Y'all were just going to let me just go right on past time, weren't you? Look at y'all. I'm just going to let me go right on past time. I'm going to get to the end here. I'm going to get to this corner, and then we're going to stop, because I can't stop in the middle of a row. Yes, Leslie, but the way that the way that they do Game of Thrones because the first season was plagiarized so much, the way that they do Game of Thrones is it gets released at the same time, at the exact same moment no matter where it is in the world, nobody else gets it until this exact moment. That's the way that they've done like season 2 through season Six, I think we're going into season seven now. I should know this. But, you, you know, they just, they stopped it. So Sunday nights, New York time at 9 p.m. is when Game of Thrones gets released worldwide. It's available to everybody. To those of you who are leaving, I will see you next week, Tuesday. Please don't forget that after next week, we will be switching to Monday. Also, make sure you tell your friends that are coming here that this is It's Crochet O'Clock. It is not Burger King. They do not get it their way. <laughs> <sighs> yes, the season one pirates were getting jailed left and right. It was bad. It was very bad. All right, I'm at the corner, y'all. I'm glad I got to sit with you guys. I was happy to see so many folks. What is the final count, you guys? Somebody give me a final count. Chain two there, I don't wanna forget about that. We just gonna leave that right there because I only got halfway through that, but we'll finish that next week. Then we'll start attaching. Whew. 88, 76. That's pretty good. Oh, Linda, I'm glad to hear that you're going to be back. I had such a good time. I always do in these chats. You guys are always so nice. But I'm tired. So I need to go to sleep. We'll see you guys at the same time next week. I will see you guys. I have that video uploading on Thursday. I'm always in the comments. I'm always in the Facebook group. All of that good stuff. I'm always around. Thanks for hanging out with me. Gonna go to bed now. Bye!